My name is Jenna and I own a salon and I've owned it for 10 years now and love the beauty and fashion industry. Um, three years ago, I decided to have gastric bypass surgery and I've lost 130 pounds. I struggled with weight all my life. I think always growing up, my mom was always mindful of what I was eating. I had two brothers growing up and they both are bean poles to this day. And so my mom was always force feeding them like, here, have two cheeseburgers and no, only half for you, Jenna, you know, take off the bun. But um, I think it did do something psychologically. I think that I equated um, food to love. I equate diet like a bank account. You know, we can blow through $15,000 in a month and then to pay that off takes a year or more, and it's the same with calories. You can gain weight in a week and it can take you six months to take it off. I got really busy with the business and went through ups and downs with money, was investing a ton of money, was taking money from away from my food budget, eating on the dollar menu, didn't have time, didn't have motivation to work out on top of it. Needed a trainer, really, because I needed direction in the gym. I didn't know what I was doing. Couldn't afford that. So it's a trickle-down effect, and two years went by and I gained 60 pounds on top of my already not great weight. And now you're looking at trying to take that off and it's hard. Prior to my surgery, I did think that I was addicted to food. Addiction runs in my family. I've never touched a drug in my life and I don't drink. So this made perfect sense that I was addicted to food and I needed this surgery as a means to get it under control. This surgery changed a lot for me. I don't have the same relationship with food anymore. With the particular surgery that I chose, gastric bypass, there is a chemical change that happens in your brain through something that, that they did in the surgery um, that does change your relationship with food. And that is actually why I chose gastric bypass versus the other options. I said, I need that change in my brain to happen. I need this to stop. And this was like, oh, I had a bad day, let me eat. Oh, I, I'm happy, let me eat. It was a need for everything. And so um, I don't have that anymore. I eat for nutrition. I was healthy in every way. However, because I was young, the probability of me running into trouble, diabetes, uh, difficult pregnancies, and if I was at the weight I was already, what was my future gonna look like with pregnancies and baby weight? It didn't look good. It impacted many of my decisions, whether or not I would decide to go to the gym today. I loved working out on holidays when no one was there, Friday nights, the gym is empty. And honestly, I didn't wanna have to walk around the gym and squeeze in between people and machines and, you know, bump into something because the image in my head of how big I was did not match up with the view in the mirror. And you get embarrassed really easily. These things become heightened and um, you begin to um, alter the way you live your life. I would only like sitting in booths in restaurants because I felt like I could be more concealed. I hated walking into a room, whether it was a meeting or a classroom, because I didn't know what seat was gonna be available. I would, I would go early so that I could choose my seat in the back corner usually. I was really trying to come to grips with my life. Um, my weight was one of my biggest struggles. I was depressed, nothing was working, I was feeling defeated. I just was at a loss. I had a very close relationship with my primary care doctor and I had seen him a lot in that year. And he had tried to put me on, you know, okay, this is what I want you to eat, this is the gym I want you to join, this is what I want you to do. And I had followed everything to a T. I can honestly say I was putting in the effort. I was doing every, I needed guidance. He was giving me great guidance. I was just doing whatever he told me to do. And it wasn't working. It wasn't working. And I, I couldn't try any longer and not get results. So he finally said to me, I think it's time 
that we look into these options. It was like a light bulb. I saw the solution. I said, how quickly can I get this done? And, um, you know, then they take you through the pre-qualifications and they check out your health, see where you're at, see what your insurance will cover, what they won't. They send you to counseling. They took extra special care. What is your home environment like? What is your work environment like? Is your life set up to support you in this decision and to support the changes that you will be making? So I really felt like we had looked at all angles of it and personally I was in a good position to do this. I lived by myself. I could control what food was in the house. I could control what schedule I had, when I was going to fit in my workouts. My family was super supportive. I felt um, well cared for with the support groups at the hospital. I was making friends that also were dealing with similar things to me and making similar choices in their life both surgically and non-surgically, -surgi but I, I had people to turn to, I had somewhere to go.